Where are my monkeys? Wait, where are my Rotom phones at? Four of my prize cards are two monkeys and two Rotom phones. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. It's never been a better time to be a fighting-type Pokemon. Both Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team GX and Eternatus VMAX are weak to fighting, making Colossal VMAX a good deck right now. Let's check out my most recent list. Colossal VMAX is an absolute tank of a Pokemon. It has 330 HP, and its eruption shot attack is very energy efficient, costing just one fighting energy. It deals 40 damage, and you discard the top card of your deck. If it's an energy card, you get to accelerate that energy onto your Colossal VMAX, and you deal 90 more damage. 130 damage for just one energy. One hit KOs to Dene GX, Crobat V, as well as Eternatus V, and Pikachu, and Zekrom Tag Team GX. And then G Max Boulder deals 240 damage. You can accelerate that energy with the eruption shot build up towards a big G Max Boulder, which one hit KOs Zashian V. Now, a new addition to this deck, Rotom Phone, pairs very well with Colossal. It allows you to look at the top five cards of your deck, choose one of them, and shuffle the other cards back into your deck, and you put the card that you chose on the top of your deck. So it's another way to help stack fighting energy onto the top of your deck so that you can accelerate energy with eruption shot. Rotom Phone also pairs very well with Primate Wisdom Oranguru, whose ability allows you to switch a card in your hand with the top card of your deck. So you can dig for cards with Rotom Phone and then use Primate Wisdom to trade a card in your hand for whatever card you found with the Rotom Phone. This list also plays a copy of Shadow Box Mimikyu. A lot of Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team GX decks have started playing Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team GX. Mimikyu Shadow Box ability is very good against Mewtwo and Mew. It reads that Pokemon GX that have any damage counters on them have no abilities. So if your opponent is trying to wall with a Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team GX because it doesn't get one hit KO'd by Colossal VMAX, you can just punish that by dropping Mimikyu after you have put some damage onto Mewtwo and Mew, and basically rendering that Mewtwo and Mew useless for the rest of the game. So Mimikyu is very good in this deck to help counter those Mewtwo and Mews, and make sure that your Pikachu and Zekrom matchup is still very good. Fion with its Whirlpool Suction ability is very good with this deck, since a lot of times your opponent will have Crobats and Dedenes on the bench that you can knock out with Eruption Shot. Being able to push around Pokemon that you can't KO and Eruption Shot something on the bench to help build up energy until you can KO what's ever in the active with G-Max Boulder is very good. So we definitely like Fion in this deck. And then Crushing Hammers are very strong against Arceus, Dalga, and Palkia GX decks, which Colossal VMAX can sometimes struggle against since Eruption Shot doesn't really deal a lot of damage to ADP or Zashian V. Crushing Hammer can help us buy those valuable turns early on that we need in order to build up to a G Max Boulder. Another card that helps against Zashian ADP is Mallow and Lana. We can tank hits and heal off damage and keep our opponent from taking knockouts, especially when we add in the buff padding, which gives our Colossal V Max, which is already huge, a bonus 50 hit points. And then combo that with the fact that Stone Fighting Energy decreases damage dealt to our Colossal V Max by 20 for each one that's attached. And it will be very difficult for the opponents to actually deal any significant damage to Colossal VMAX. Defense is definitely Colossal's best strength. Check out the highlights from the stream of me playing this Colossal VMAX deck and let me know what do you think of Colossal VMAX in the comments below. All right, playing against the Zashian deck. It looks like I have to day-day change this hand. It would appear as if you sent him? That owns. All right. Shot clock, baby. Nah, dude. I'm a top deck out of this for sure. There we go. Yeah, we're, we're top decking right on out of this thing. We're just hard of the cards. It. I mean, I don't know. Crobat for two? They did change that hand seems like a an easy way to lose. My opponent is playing Rotom Phone in their Zashian deck. That's pretty saucy. That's cool. Baby Trio? It could be Tier 3 Thursday. We could revive Tier 3 Thursday for sure.
we could do it. I told you so. I told you so, chat. Chat didn't believe me, but I told them so. I told you so. I told you so. Yo, thank you so much, Lips, for the tier one sub. Appreciate you, Lips. Thanks. Hopefully you're having a busted day, Lips. All right. Yeah, today. <laughs> we just we just on it today, chat. We we on it. I don't I don't know what's going on, but Yo today we just we just got that work today. <laughs> we just absolutely got that work. Yeah. That's cool. And then I you know, they might play Mawile, so I'm not trying to get Mawiled, so I guess we just go and actually use this crowbat. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just stab oh yeah, it's cool, man. <laughs> I guess <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Nah, it's cool. We're bringing it back. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're chilling. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, free, free, free. Totally fine. Totally fine. Ah, uh, we, you know, it's a warm-up game for a reason. <laughs> it's it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's fine. It's gonna buff out. It's definitely gonna buff out. Yeah, hi. I <laughs> we wanted to play around the Mawile. So, like, you know, I was trying to think a little bit too brain, you know, too big brain, actually. But I realized a little bit too late that I... See? Because they have Mawile. See? So, like, I... But now they're... <laughs> <laughs> getting rid of the mawa. See, so I knew I was about to get my wild if I kept the hand. I knew it. Yeah. So what we should have done is just cr we should have mm, yeah waited to crowbat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's cool, man. It's cool. We accidentally stacked the energy and then yeah, we really goofed that one up. But it it's all good, man. We're gonna top deck out of it again. For sure. Top deck once. Top deck twice, baby. Yeah. Totally fine. All I need is an energy off the next two cards. That'd be sick. Let's go, chat. Yo. <laughs> Turn it up, bro. <laughs> Turn up, bro. Turn up. Yeah, broken deck. That's fine. There we go. Yeah, I got some more cards, baby. Got some more cards. I'm going to need some of those crushing hammers to hit for sure. So that'd be great. Um, Do I actually want to? Yeah, I want to go around this ADP, I think. Yeah, so we're going to get this. And we're going to thin that guy out of the deck because I don't need him and then we're going to go here and we're going to Fion and we're going to Fion around this thing and then I can just knock out whoever my opponent puts into the active that'd be sick you know so they might send up like a Dedenny or something like that but then I definitely want to hit a crushing hammer like we need to do that for sure There, they're going to send up this guy, so that's cool. We'll bench this, and we're going to research. All right. Time to hit the crushing hammer. What the heck, bro? Um. All right. Primate Wisdom, that. Hope it's another energy. Yeah, good. All right, if we could attach here and go eruption shot. That's fine. Take the knockout. And uh, it's a little bit sketch because if they just go boss boss game, then we lose. We definitely wanted to hit some of those crushing hammers. So, yeah. 
All right, come on. For the one time, ADP. Don't have boss boss game, bro. Just three bosses in the discard pile. Please. Yo, of course, Audrey. You got it. You have three boss in the discard pile. Have mercy. Okay, here we go. Marnie. All right. And we've got the Fion. All I need to do is Fion twice, and I win. So if they don't have it, I win. Well, you know, that's the idea anyway. So here we go. Hopefully, my opponent simply does not have the boss. That would be sick. All right, here comes Crobat. And Primate Wisdom, the Rotom Phone on top of the deck in case I get Marnied. Based. All right, G Max Boulder. Just need my opponent to not have the game winning great catcher. Whee! You think they have? They always have it. Eldegoss boss game. <laughs> nope. Okay. All right. Z money. Saucer. Nah, man. So you're saying there's a chance. Let's see what we got, chat. All right, I got double Rotom Phone, baby. Okay, here we go. That'll do. GG's and also no re, bud. GG's no re. Didn't even have to touch that ADP, bruh. Pump up the jams. Pump it up. Da -da. Da -da -da. Ain't missing today, chat. Ain't missing today, chat. Broken deck, chat. <laughs> When's the no re emote? Yeah, that'd be sick. Then you could do your GG no re. <laughs> That'd be busted. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, the Colossal Mirror. This should be fascinating. This could be something, huh? We've got to turn one Marnie. Looking to try and get a Colossal with an Energy. Now, I'm not exactly sure how this Colossal Mirror is going to go. I got buff padding. They got buff padding. You know, I would certainly like to hit my hammers and also, you know, find Colossal turn one. That'd be sick. You know what? Asking you shower seat, chat. Here we go. Turn up. Got it right there. Boom. Boom. Capture energy. We're looking for... Probably another Oranguru in case this one goes down. That seems fine. We use Rotom Phone and put the Colossal V Max on top of the deck and just keep it there for next turn. We pass. So that way I'm guaranteed to have the turn two Colossal V Max, which seems good. That that seems 
like the way, huh? It does seem like the way. We're anticipating this thing going down. Then we just got a tank with some Colossals. We also, if we can help it, we don't want to bench to Denny or Crobat. Those are easy prizes for my opponent. We would prefer to just have... Uh, see, my opponent having to use Mallow and Lana there, they could actually just whiff. And they have two Mallow and Lanas in the discard pile now. That's huge for us. Now, we'll see. If they get it, you know, cool. But they did waste Mallow and Lana to make the play. So that feels good. I imagine that that's probably an energy they're stacking. They've got Sir Fetched. Yeah, and they've got it. Okay, cool. So that's fine, though. Feel okay about that. We do want to hit a hammer, though, because they are off to a very fast start. Okay. Definitely just going to be research. Okay. Bench another one of these guys. Unfortunately, I do not have the hammer. Which is tough. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Yeah, it's cool. I like all these cards. So let's just Rotom Phone. No energy in the top of the deck. It's cool. We can grab Crobat. And then... Ugh. Okay. I'm going to grab that. But I can't attack, so I have to go here. Yeah, and I don't have another... Oof, this is bad. Yeah. All right, we have to go here. Right, we have to go here. Thin the deck down further. Have to go here. And I have to draw into it my last Rotom Phone to stack an energy. Have to, which is tough. We'll switch here. Crobat. See what we can get into. I'm insane at this game. All right. And then... All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could thin the deck a little bit more. See, do I actually want to, though? Probably not. I could feel and around the Colossal, which... You know, who do they promote? Oranguru? I could take a prize there, which is pretty good. I'd rather hit into this for 240. So I think I will Fion. That seems fine. All right, they're just going to give me the Denny. Thank goodness. That was a little close, but... All right. Big eruption shot. Cool. That was about... That was about as good as a draw as we could have possibly hoped for off of the Crobat. That was really gnarly, for sure. We've got... You know, we got the, uh, the last phone in the deck. I got 31 cards left in deck, and we drew into the last Rotom phone, which is awesome. Now... What's sketchy about my opponent's board state is that they have given me a route to win without knocking out this Colossal. Um, which is pretty cool. You know, I could just knock out the Cole. They're going to bring back the Mallow and Lana for sure. So then I want to boss this next turn and knock out like Colossal V. And if I can do that, Let's see, I want a boss, knock out Colossal V. Cool. 
remove that. Attach the stone under. How many hit points do I have left? If I hit double hammer, that'd be insane. 110. I'd have to hit double hammer here this turn. Which are not super high odds. And if they knock out this colossal... How many hammers I got left in the deck? Two? I could Marnie put their Mallow and Lana to the bottom of the deck. Let's take a look. I'm feeling myself. I'm going to hit another crushing hammer. I'm feeling it, chat. I'm absolutely ripping another crushing hammer right here. Well, maybe not today. That's unfortunate. It's been very good to hit that other crushing hammer. So, not sure what my route is here. Because if they just have bosses' orders, they win the game. Because they're going to take this knockout. And I don't have a win con set up. Unfortunately. Didn't hit the buff padding either. It wouldn't have made a difference, but we didn't hit the buff padding either. So we definitely have to deal with the gigantic colossal in the room. Yo, what's up, Ted Bear? Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Is there a banned card I would like to be unbanned in standard or expanded? Yo, bring back. Bring back Archeops. <laughs> yeah, bro. Bring back bring back Archeops. We can handle it. All right, Marnie. Uh oh. Um, okay, we can grab that. Go here, grab that. It's fine. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. I, I didn't see that that thing has an air balloon. That's fine. I didn't see that that Orangor has an air balloon. I was thinking, like, maybe they don't have a switch. Yeah, but that thing's got an air balloon. So. So my only play is for them to not have a boss's orders for, like, multiple turns. You know, not super high odds of that happening. And then I could potentially win in two turns, but I would need to draw extraordinarily well. Okay, well. The Crobat makes my route to win a little easier. I only have two prizes remaining.
And they, they no way they have boss. They hesitated a little too long there. No chance. Yeah, they're going to research. Okay. They'll knock out my Mimikyu. I basically have to draw a Marnie this next turn. Hope that I can keep them out of boss again. Except if they draw a boss, they'll just stack it with the Oranguru. So, like, I don't... I don't think that they have drawn boss, or else they would stack it with a Rangaroo. All right. Yeah, this is looking like it's going to be game chat. Sad. Yeah, we can't win. Boo! <laughs> GG's. Nice coal mirror. Right, we'll play one more with one more with big coal. I think hmm, that game it felt like I got behind on the on the cold lossals. Uh it felt like I got behind. Like my opponent got the first big hit in and then it was it was tough to kind of recover from there, I think. You know, ultimately Ultimately, when it was like time for me to hit into their Colossal, they already had the Malo and Lana in hand. So that was really rough. Because it was like I couldn't hit into the Colossal. Because they were going to have that Malo and Lana right there. All right. Rillaboom, not a great matchup for our Colossal deck chat. I'm not going to, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. <laughs> this, is, this is bad. <laughs> It's real bad. That's fine. I. Right. All right. Gizzy boy. Okay. We'll do that. Go here. And I'll even put the book pattern down. And pass. That's fine. Yeah, the problem is that they do, like, you know, 300 damage with Rowlet and Alone Executor. It's kind of rough, man. My dudes are all weak to your dudes. Suboptimal for sure. Ash says, how is Lapras VMAX in the meta? Unfortunately, Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team GX is one of the best decks right now. And Lapras can struggle a little bit against Pikaram. But it's a fun deck. For sure. All right, here we go. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, well, let's see. Do we have another energy on top? We do. All right, that's broken. Here we go. Let's go air balloon, honestly. Sure. Boom. But now my opponent can just <laughs> go Tropical Hour GX and I lose. <laughs> yeah. Literally, they just drop Glower GX and I lose the game. So we should just scoop. There's literally no beating this deck. Yeah. No chance. Like, what more could I have possibly done? Well, you need three grass to tropical hour. So maybe they're not going to. Yeah, okay. No tropical hour chat. Yeah, that's just going to be a calming hurricane. Sure. For like a lot, but Poggers. Okay, we're going to want three heads. Poggies. All right. 
It doesn't matter. I'm going to one-hit KO this thing anyway. Okay, we're getting the Crobat. And then I, I think I ideally want a Mallow and Lana. Yeah, we definitely want a Mallow and Lana this turn, because we Mallow and Lana this turn, then they can't just come up and... Oh, for 100? <sighs> That's doing a lot, bro. A hundred? Okay. We're going to go here. Get the other coal out of the deck. Go here. Mallow and Lana. Yeah. Go here. Do it. Okay. Heal it. Okay. Stack the Marnie with Primate Wisdom. Okay. Rotom Phones, fine card to have. G Max Boulder, take the knockout. Okay. So. We actually are doing okay here. That's not bad. We can... Yeah, they can't knock me out this next turn. That's pretty sick. Right? Yeah, they can do 100 minus 20. That ain't gonna do it. So we get at least one more swing in. Yeah, and... The Rillaboom is chat. We're gonna do the impossible. We're we we bout to do it, chat. We bout to do the impossible. No, but then they could just oh they could knock out my I actually have to swing into the Rillaboom VMAX. So we want desperately boss's orders, right? Yeah, let's see. Right, because I have to I have to swing into it for 240. And then if I swing into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because they can knock this out without discarding, right? They'll just do 130, 260, 260 minus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have to swing in. Okay. So we go here. Primate Wisdom, the research. G Max Boulder. Okay. So now I just have to hit it for 130, and that's game. So if they knock out my Colossal, we just go boom, game over. Which would be absolutely filthy. As Cynthia and Caitlin for the Skyla back. They have to take the knockout. Right? They have to. The bad thing would be if they have switch knockout with Raleg. Ah, no. Hard retreat? Oh, God. This is bad. This is real bad now. Yeah, chat. That's not good. All right, we can do this though. They have six prizes left to take. All I have to do is set up a win con where I go boss for game. That's it. You think they got boss in their hand right now? Probably. No chance. All right, we're gonna research. Prime Wisdom this. Shuffle the deck. Okay. 
attach here. Retreat into Crobat. Pass turn. Question is, do I think that they will Tropical Hour GX next turn? Because if they Tropical Hour GX, if I stack the boss, then they shuffle the boss. They probably do Tropical Hour GX. So I hold the boss. All right. So, like, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I guess so. I should have second primate wisdom and energy. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have second primate wisdom because I, I was considering stacking the boss, but I think that they'll tropical hour GX, potentially. So if they tropical hour GX, and that means that I lose my top deck, which is not what we want. So they've got the six energy. They're gonna shuffle my deck. Coach trainer. All right, it's not a boss. But I was correct that they were going to Tropical Hour. So now they are going to shuffle my stone energy into the deck, which is fine. All I need, all I need is Colossal VMAX. That's it. I've got the double energy boss in my hand. Let's go! All right. So we go here. Boss, data change. And that's it. GG. And also, no re, chat. No re for sure. That's going to be a a big no re from me. Insane game, bro. Insane game. Eruption shot. We take our three prizes. Yikes. That was close. Dang, Chad. Okay, Colossal. Okay, bud. What's up? Gnarly deck. It beats the grass deck though. <laughs> Not the grass the grass deck. We beat the grass deck. Man. Yeah, that really came down to the wire for sure. All right, KBs. What you got going on? The Colossal is kind of fun. Turfy Turkey says, just another testament to how bad grass is. You know, press F for grass, honestly. Why they got to do our grass Pokemon like that? <laughs> why they got to? Why they got to do our grass Pokemon like that, man? <laughs> uh, all right, Mewtwo and Mew deck, and we play the Mimikyu chat. Let's go. Let's go. Seems good. What do I want off the top? Not capture energy. I'm going to need a real energy in order to attack. Oh, off the top of the deck, I want to... Yeah, I want to Pokemon so that I can communicate. Yeah. All right, cool. Done. <clears throat> so let's see what KBs has got in store for us. We, we played the Mimikyu in our deck. So all I have to do is poke the Mewtwo and then... It should have its abilities turned off. All right, it's a Picarom deck featuring Mewtwo. 
So this matchup should theoretically be favorable for us. Uh, their whole deck is weak to us, which is great. Mewtwo, we can turn off with our own Shadow Box Mimikyu. Should be an uphill fight for my opponent. But anything can happen in Pokemon chat. Anything. It's why we have to play the game. Nothing's guaranteed, right? As we saw last game, Colossal versus Boombox seemed bad. My opponent could have just outright won the game if they got that quick Tropical Hour GX, but... Yeah, if they had just knocked out my first Colossal one-hit KO with that Tropical Hour, that would have been real bad for us. Now, this is definitely one of the reasons to play Colossal, right? I mean, we play Colossal not because it's got a great ADP matchup. We play Colossal because you can beat Picaram and you can beat Eternatus, which are some of the most popular decks in the game. Yo, Master Z built my cube and visited a friend this weekend. It was a blast to play. Yo, I'm. was it the two-player cube that you played? If so, uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm going to go Crushing Hammer. Dang. Sick, Master Z. I'm glad you, glad you were into that. I really love that cube. I think it's very fun. All right, we're going to go get Colossal. Research. See what we can do. Okay. All right. We're going to go here. For sure. And a Pokemon communicates... that we're going to get probably yeah a Rangaroo I don't have any energy attached yet bro so I need to find two energy oh all of my yo where are my monkeys at okay where are my monkeys? Hey, 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 hey. Where are my monkeys? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, where are my Rotom phones at? All right. You're telling me four of my prize cards are two monkeys and two Rotom phones. All right. Challenge accepted, chat. Challenge accept. What am I even doing then? <laughs> huh. That is a thinker, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God. Um, this is. This is really bad. <laughs> this is bad. This is real bad. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Are we just going day day change here, bro? No, we're going Crobat. All right. That's cool. Nice. All right, chat. Time to wing it. YOLO! Let's... <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> wow! Yes! <laughs> Insane! <laughs> Absolutely easy and incredibly pre-calculated, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man, this is too much, bro. My heart can't handle it, man. <laughs> oh man. All right, now we about to get paralyzed. I really need 
I really just need a uh, a quick ball, Pokemon communication, something like that. Anything, supporter. Yeah, that'd all be great. That'd be fantastic. Now, I'm anticipating that opponent's going to come up and tandem shock me. That's what I'm thinking. Potentially could have dropped the Mimikyu last turn, but I didn't want it to get knocked out either, right? Because I don't have any way to retrieve it. So that was something that was on my mind as well. We should have some time here. Honestly, I don't have a free retreater in play or anything like that. So if we do get Tandem Shocked, I have to switch. I think I'm just going to switch like into Eldegoss or something. Uh, you know, something kind of inconsequential. That's fine. We just switch, break, break the paralysis. Yeah. Unfortunate. I'm very good at this game. Here we go. All right, switch, and we pass. And then just need something off the top. A little bit of a drought right now, unfortunately. Yes, just a wee bit of a drought. Be all right, though. on here colossal no chance they've got the switch boss energy in hand in fact they're looking at their hand and their only draw supporter is definitely a marnie that would be sick mm. 32 cards left in my own deck we've been sacking so far today so if we can just keep that Keep that big sack energy going. Now, they have both the Denny's and a Crobat on the bench, so I doubt that they got any more dig Pokemon. They also have both Pikaram and both Bolton. So I think we're just looking at the only attackers left in my opponent's deck. I'm pretty sure it's just Raichu and Mewtwo. Thank you, KBs. Thank you. That's busted. Well, you know, a couple turns we were going to get a Marnie. So, that's fine. Now we live it out here. So, are they going to full blitz onto the other Raichu? I think that's that's the dealio, right? Yeah, full blitz, power up the Raichu. Yo, what's up, Holy Man 22 Thanks for hanging out, just getting back into the game. Yo, chat. Hook, uh, hook Holy Man... 22 up with some some knowledge here personally i think that uh well eternatus vmax probably Ooh, but then there's battle styles coming out um i think that uh let's see let me think through this turn real quick all right we're gonna quick bowl here we really want, I probably will Fion around the Mewtwo. Guarantee myself a two prize take. Well, if I find Switch. Because then I just want to get Ranguru into play, right? The Mewtwo is not actually helping me win the game, right? We're going to go basically knockout, knockout game. So that's, that's what we're trying to do. So if they push up to Denny... I go Marnie, drop a Rangaroo. We can put the energy here in Marnie. And I need a, you know, a couple card combo in order to pull it off. Yeah, we got it. Okay, cool. So, it's basically exactly where I want to be. Got the air balloon. We've got another Colossal V Max. Go crushing hammer. Cool. And then go Primate Wisdom here. And I've got the Rotom Phone. Yeah, we can just go here and Eruption Shot the Dedenny. And then all I have to do is just take one more knockout. 
and we have game. We've got the stone fighting energy, Rotom, phones, Oranguru ready to go. Uh, but to answer your question, Holy Man, the best decks in standard format right now are Arceus Dialga and Palkia GX with Zashi and V, and uh, Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team GX, this deck that we're facing against right now. Um, so those two decks are going to be great bets for you probably from now until August, uh, I would say. Now, Battle Styles comes out in March, so... You're going to want to keep an eye out for those new cards which are coming out. I think that that, that set is really going to shake up the meta quite a bit. Are there some budget options? For sure. Mad Party is a great budget option. Mad Party, uh, pretty popular deck. Uh, Whimsicott from Vivid Voltage, also a good uh, single prize option as well. So I would suggest those, those decks for you if you're looking for, you know, some uh, some budget decks easier to get into. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, those are single prize decks, which means like they're not you know, Colossal V Max worth three prizes. You know, Eldegoss worth two prizes. Uh, their main attackers in those decks are uh, are going to be single prize Pokemon. All right, let's go here. Mimikyu, eh? Yeah, we'll just put that there. Pass. See what's up. Don't have a damage counter on the Mewtwo, so we have to wait here. My opponent did just hit a lot of hammers, so that was kind of that was kind of gnarly. Let's see, they got the speed lightning on the Raichu, so we definitely want to dig and find the boss. This thing's got what two hundred and forty hit points left. That is crazy, though. The Buff Patty really making a uh, big deal there. All right, so they're coming back in with the Mewtwo. I wonder if they're just going to Tag Bolt. No, just Tandem Shock again. Okay, while they build up some plants. All right, we're going to Primate Wisdom the Energy. See if we find a switch. Ooh. Today is a good day, chats. Drop it. Eruption shot. Okay. Cool. So now we lock that Mewtwo out of being able to attack. We don't attach the energy because that's going to be my wing con on Raichu if it comes up into the active. Right. Now the Mewtwo cannot attack. They have to attack with Raichu. Which is fine. And they're probably going to paralyze again. It's not a problem. I guess maybe I should have gone in and attacked with this Colossal again, but I don't think it's going to matter. Insane plays. All right. So we can attach the energy here. Attach the energy here. Go here and research into the deck. All right, we don't find a switch or anything. We just pass. And then if they don't boss, then I can just G-Max Boulder here for game on like anything that's in the active position. We're just trying to set up checkmate here on my opponent. So they have to boss this. This has got too much energy on it at this point. And should just be in a good position all around. I don't think I think this Raichu is really kind of carried a lot of weight for my opponent. 
They can retreat into Mewtwo, but you know, that might just buy them one more turn. If I don't have Switch myself, I have three Switch in the discard pile. No Mallow and Lana in the discard pile yet. But nah, they're just going to come up with Raichu again. So if I just have a single energy, they have to stamp. Or Marnie. And then they have to force me to not find an energy. But we've got a pretty s small deck. So we should be able to... Oh, and they got the stamp to two. Oh, baby. All right. I mean, they're putting up a fight for sure. They are putting up a fight. You got to give it to them. Let's see. What are my supporter counts left in the deck? Uh, it's correct to research here. Rotom phone. And that's going to be GG's. All right, stack the energy, research, well played, KBs, well played for sure. We take our final two prizes with G-Max Boulder. Yeah, that was pretty close, pretty close. I mean, 10 damage away from getting that Colossal knocked out, but we did have some pretty insane prizes that game. And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash trickygym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. We've got a super welcoming community over there, and we'd love you to be a part of it. Y'all take it easy and have a busted day. Peace.